Hi everyone, it's the Comic Fan Man here coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to have an unboxing of a Mattel Creations figure. So let's open it up and take a look. I've already cut the tape open. Cue dramatic box opening music. Dinner, dinner. All right, so let's take a look at what came in and sure you probably guessed by now but here is the Mattel Creations exclusive snout spout from New Eternia uh, this is so cool this, look at this painting uh, for the figure it's amazing I really love the, the Mattel Creations uh, box art that they do um, I got the one from Vicron I already framed that one so obviously I'm gonna wind up framing this one as well. Oh my God, this figure looks dynamic. Um, I'm not sure which artist is the one that did this. Um, might be Nate Barge, might be um, uh, Eamon O'Donoghue. I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, I always love whatever art they produce. They, those guys are just, just amazing. All right, so let's open it up and see what's inside. The flap opens here. Oh, there's a little write up for Snout Spout. Snout Spout, the heroic water blasting firefighter. When the dark forces of Eternia pillage towns, Snout Spout charges into the blazing infernos set by their torches to save the villages from the intruders, be they Skeletor or the evil horde. All right, so that's what he does. He's a he's a master verse, uh, masters of the universe firefighter uh, from the return. Oh, it's uh, it's an art flap. It's the same art that's on the outside. Oh, is it the same? Oh no, it's not exactly the same. It's it's a very similar image. Yes, it's a it's a blow. It's a it's definitely the same type of image, but look, over here he's spouting the water at the snakes. Oh, this has got to be King Hiss's army. It's the snake army. And over here, he's just got his spout on. Oh, nice. So it's a it's a variant of the same same cover. Very cool. Nice job, Mattel. And on the other side, oh, oh, that's. Okay, that's King Hiss and that's Lady Slither. Oh man, I hope this means that we're gonna get a King Hiss and Lady Slither in the Masterverse line. Look, cause it, this is not the Origins design for him. Oh man, I hope that's, oh, that's really exciting. I hope they're gonna give us the Snake Men. That's really cool. And the Lady Slither looks like the Origins Lady Slither. Uh, so maybe that'll be the only one we get of that. But hey, that would be awesome if we get if we get those figures. Uh, King Hiss and Lady Slither. Beautiful, beautiful painting. I love this. All right, and now let's take a look at the figure himself. Snout Spout. There he is inside the box. Um, this is plastic-free packaging. He's tied up with all paper strings this is really cool all right he's big he's very very big um all right let me take him out of this oh and he's got the same kind of little uh box of stuff for his accessories just like vicron came with neat i like this all right, I don't know what all this is, but we'll open it up and find out. All right, so give us a minute. We'll take this all apart and uh, put it out on the table. All right, so here he is out of the box with all of his accessories laid out. This is really cool. This is an amazing looking figure. Obviously, he's got all of these hoses that are supposed to be like you know attachments to uh his water mechanism 
Uh, now this is a collectible, so he does not come with the um, uh, the water play feature like the original vintage figure. Uh, this is the harness that comes on him. Uh, you, obviously, you attach the backpack to this. These uh, shoulder pads, I'm pretty sure these are the Vicron shoulder pads. I'm, I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure those are the same. Just uh, given a red paint um, done in red plastic. Really nice. Then on the side, this is the backpack, which on the vintage figure, this is what you filled up uh, with water. But again, on this figure, um, it doesn't have that play feature because he's got a little, he's got a little uh, plastic water piece that you attach to the bottom of his spout. There you go. And it makes it look like he's shooting water. Really cool. And he comes with his uh, water pressure belt. This was not a feature on the, vin on the vintage or the origins figure, but it's here where you can adjust the pressure, which is pretty cool. Obviously there's no real pressure to adjust, but that's nice. Nice little detail. And his fireman ax. This is really great. It's way oversized. It's paper from the box. It's got some dings. Let's make it look like he's obviously used it. He's got this weight part on the bottom, really nice. And he comes with two oversized magenta fists that you can switch out his gripping hands with. And let's take a look at the figure. Um, yeah, this is <coughs> this is a completely new buck. Um, the legs are different, the arms are different, the shoulders are different, and the uh, the body muscular shape is completely different. This is a completely unique figure. Take a look at the back. Yeah, really nice. And oh, look at that. There's wash on the back. You know, for all those uh, McFarlane fans that uh, kept criticizing the uh, my Batman video for bringing up the fact that he couldn't put wash on the back. Well, look, it's possible. In fact, all of this has wash and all of this gets covered. You don't see it. And somehow it was possible. I don't know, that was really weird. I got into this big, like, <laughs> Facebook, like, uh, people just kept coming after me. Like, like, you know, how dare I demand that McFarlane put wash on the back of the figure? I was like, uh, he put it on the front. Why could he not do the back? Like, that didn't make any sense. And then some people use the excuse of like, well, it's supposed to be an inbox collectible. I was like, for who? Like, not everybody likes to keep stuff in box. I certainly don't. I like my figures outside. Why would I want to leave it locked in the box? Um, it was a really weird thing because I really like the figure. But the more I got into that conversation, the more the people made me hate the figure. <laughs> I do. I do still do love the uh, BVS Batman figure. Don't get me wrong, but it was... It was really weird that people just kept coming after me about that. And it was like, um, look, it's definitely possible to put wash over parts of the figure that is covered at a regular, uh, you know, $20, $30 retail price. So don't tell me it's not possible. And don't tell me like, oh, like, you know, he's got to do what he's got to do to stay in business is like uh he's done it for every figure before that that batman is the first figure i saw where he like did only half a wash so um in any case i did like that figure back to snout spout um the one thing about this figure that really really is striking to me is this head portrait look at this thing this is amazing. Um, you know, it does have a nice, the ear shape, it has a nice callback to the vintage figure. 
Um, but look at these tusks that they gave this figure. And he's got one, two, three, four, five points of articulation on this snout. Let's have a look real quick. Like you can see, it goes up and down at there. You can turn there. You can turn there, turn there, and turn there. Like that's really, really cool. You can make them like, you know, shooting water everywhere and it turns. That's really great. And the articulation on his head doesn't stop there. Look, his tusks can, you can turn them out. His ears go back and forth. That's great. I really like that. Now, there is one more thing I want to show you about the head. But give me one second. All right. Are you ready for this little surprise? Take a look at this. If you put a, some kind of light source behind him, his eyes glow. That is super duper cool. I had no idea this was even a thing. But look at that. That is really, really neat. All right, so here he is with all of his equipment on, snouting and spouting. Oh man, I love the way this figure looks. Uh, it really has a great callback to the vintage figure. I love the redesign that they did for the head. Um, it's really, really great. Um, and just as I thought, let's take a quick look. Um, this is the Vicron tank. And yeah, the shoulder pads are exactly the same. It's just, this is all in red. This is silver green. But other than that, it is the same. Um, it is the same shoulder pads. But look at that. That is a great figure. He's got a great presence. He's so big and so bulky. Um, his feet, are it looks like a purple with a nice dark wash on it i love the steel toes the axe fits perfectly into his hand and then you know right into the brass knuckle section there his fist is really nice um there's another little hole over here on his thing for another for the other hose but i have the hose attached to his helmet at the moment um, but this one can go here, and I don't know where that would attach, but um, yeah, it would attach there. Really neat. I, I think they did an amazing job on this figure. All right, here he is alongside the Origins um, style deluxe snout spout. Again, another really cool figure. They did a really nice job with this head. This is a great callback to the vintage head. It's pretty much a one for one and it's got the the water play feature. You put the snout in the in like a cup of water, you squeeze this, it sucks in the water and you spray out. Oh my god, I remember with the <laughs> with the vintage figure. Um I was definitely one of those annoying kids that would uh you know sneak in that action figure and be spritzing my friends. <laughs> Um, and they didn't, they never saw a water gun, so they didn't know wh where I was spraying them with. Um, so I had a lot of fun with, uh, the snout spout vintage figure. And this is a callback to the vintage head. He does also come with a more modernized head. This is the head that's supposed to look more like this one. Um, but it's very limited. It doesn't have the water feature and the nose only goes up and down and sideways but he does have the tusks here. Like this one has the tusks. Um, so this is this is a neat, neat head. But you know, there he is, big brother and little brother. And as you can see, like he is absolutely massive compared to this figure. For another size comparison, here he is next to the new Eternia Skeletor. And as you can see, he towers over him. It's kind of nice because so far, <coughs> the only oversized figures have been bad bad guy figures. So it's nice to finally have one that represents the good guys here. Um, 
And again, <coughs> as you can see, even the legs are new, uh, a new design compared to the what was normally used for the new Eternia line. Um, so yeah, he's he's a pretty much a 100% uh, original figure. And I really, really enjoy it. All right, I found the one Masterverse figure that matches him. A little, little surpass him if you count the purple guy uh, from Masterverse. Uh, too bad. Uh, the too bad deluxe figure is the is the one that's a little larger than Snout Spout. Um, so yeah, I think this would be a good one two v one battle <laughs> with a uh, too bad versus a uh, Snout Spout because they are pirates in this one, so they would be plundering. And Snout Spout would have to come in to put out their fires. And here's how he sizes up next to Ram Man, New Eternia Ram Man. <clears throat> this Ram Man is, uh, he's very thick, but he is, um, he's not a tall figure. Um, so, I, you know, he obviously, he towers over him. But the fact that he's so thick, kind of like equals them out. I really, really like that. And finally, here he is next to Mythic Legion's uh, tribute to Battle Cat figure, uh, Kawaros. <clears throat> and as you can see, you know, he, again, looks really, really amazing um, alongside this combination. All right, one more. I had to throw it in. You know, anytime I can get my boy in there, Blade Master Wang from Maestro Union uh, sizes up really well with this uh, um, snout spout, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to put him onto my display. Wow, really great! All right, so if you enjoyed this look at a new attorney of snout spout, please give me a like and subscribe, and look forward to our next video. Who knows what we'll be getting into next. All right. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.